Project Search. Hi, it's Danny again. Today, I'm going to bring you another installment of the Interest Inventory. Today's presentation is going to be a continuation of the Interest Inventory we started a few weeks back. The first part of the interest inventory, questions one through seven, we did three weeks ago. You should still have your piece of paper, hopefully, on which you wrote your answers to those first seven questions about the types of work you prefer and environments that you like. The following day, we continued that interest inventory with questions eight through 15. And once again, those answers for questions eight through 15 should be on that same piece of paper where you wrote down your answers for questions one through seven. Use that same piece of paper with your previous answers to answer the questions in today's presentation. Project Search UTMC Remote Learning Interest Inventory Questions 16 through 22. Interest Inventory? What's that? Well, to remind you, an interest inventory is a tool for helping people decide what careers best suit their interests and innate capacities. This is the third installment of questions in our ongoing interest inventory series that was started a few weeks back. You're going to need a pen or pencil and the paper that you used for the previous two installments of the interest inventory questions. Question 16, do you like the idea of working with others? Write A for yes, B for no, or C for don't know. Think about your experiences doing various tasks at home or elsewhere. And did you like when there were other people around working on the task with you? So think about the question and then answer the best you can. Question 17, do you prefer working on tasks by yourself? So once again, think about tasks you've done in your life, at home, or other places. Think about the task that you did when it was just you working on it. Did you like working in that way? A for yes, B for no, C for don't know. Pause if you need to and think about the question and answer the best you can. Question 18, do you like tasks that require frequent verbal communication? Answer A for yes, B for no, C for don't know. Pause if you need to and think about the tasks you've done in your life, ones that require that you have to do a lot of talking in order to get those tasks done. Did you like doing those? Think about it and answer to the best of your ability. Question 19, do you like the idea of caregiving? Answer A for yes, B for no, and C for don't know. By caregiving, I mean tasks that involve helping others. For example, you may have done some babysitting for a relative or friend. Think about that type of experience and whether you enjoyed it. Pause the video while you answer the question. Question 20, are you able to tolerate unpleasant smells? A for yes, B for no, C for don't know. There are certain jobs that while they might pay well and be rewarding in other ways, would involve having to be able to tolerate unpleasant smells. In the picture you see someone collecting trash, that can get pretty stinky. But some people are able to push through that and they enjoy the work despite the smells. So pause the video and think about the question and answer the best you can. Question 21. Do you mind being around and or using loud machinery? A for yes, B for no, C for don't know. You may have done some yard work perhaps at your house, where you had to use maybe a lawnmower or an edger or weed whacker, or perhaps you've been around things like 
table saws or even chainsaws that make a lot of noise. So pause the video and think about whether those sorts of noises were, are something that you could tolerate on a regular basis while doing tasks. Question 22. Are you comfortable performing tasks in environments that must be kept quiet? A for yes, B for no, C for don't know. Most of us have spent time in places where it's required that we stay very quiet. A library is probably the easiest example to think of. When you enter a library, you have to make sure that any talking you do is very quiet, almost a whisper. There are other environments that are like that as well. So think about your experience with those types of places and whether you think you'd be able to function well in an environment where you have to stay quiet most of the time. Pause the video while you answer the question the best you can. I'm really looking forward to getting together with all of you and discussing this material. Goodbye.